21, you will write your answer directly in the test book. So remember when you bubble in, bubble in completely, and if you want to change your answer, make sure to erase it completely. I'm going to read this one out loud so we can do it together, maybe make it easier. Okay, so this, this story is called Mystery Flats, and remember, you have the story in front of you, so when you look at the questions, go back into the story, because very often it's very direct, right from the story, the answers. So Mystery Flats. It was the hottest day of the year. Uncle Joe was wiping sweat off his face when he came into the house. Ken, did you let the air out of two of my tires on my old truck? He asked me. No, I would never do that, I replied. I guess I must have run over some nails, Uncle Joe said. I helped him pump some air into the tires so we could drive to the garage. The garage man couldn't find any nails in the tires. Maybe Ken here was playing a trick on you, he told Uncle Joe, winking at me. I wouldn't do that, I said. Flat tires aren't funny. Maybe some neighborhood kids. There are only three kids who live nearby, and they're on vacation, Uncle Joe said. It's a mystery. The next morning was even hotter. Uncle Joe stormed into the house, shouting, Now three of my tires are flat. Who would be pulling such a nasty trick? We went outside and pumped up the tires again. When Uncle Joe went back inside, I decided to solve the mystery myself. I hid behind a bush, keeping my eye on the truck. Maybe some kid who is visiting, one of our neighbors is doing it, I thought. Or maybe a grown-up is angry at Uncle Joe. But I couldn't think of anyone who would be angry at Uncle Joe. The sun got hotter and hotter. A fly buzzed around my head. I got sleepier and sleepier. Suddenly I heard a hissing sound. My eyes flew open and I stared at the strangest sight I'd ever seen. A crow was standing beside Uncle Joe's back tire. With its sharp yellow beak, it pressed against the tire valve. I could almost hear the crow sigh with a pleasure as it flapped its wings in the cool breeze hissing from the tire. I feel like a real detective. Uncle Joe, I shouted, running towards the house. You're never going to believe this. Okay, so now let's look at the first question. Why is Uncle Joe upset? Who knows the answer? I'll choose. It's you. D, he thinks someone is playing a trick on him. How many of you had D? Did anyone else have a different answer? What, did anyone else think something else? It's okay, what did you think? A, he does not like crow. Okay, A would not be appropriate because did he know that the crow was doing this? Did he know at the beginning of the story? No, and he was upset at the beginning of the story and he did not know anything about the crow, so why would he be upset with crows? He didn't know that the crows would do it. Didn't say anything about him liking crows or not liking crows, so that wouldn't be an answer. The only other one I thought you might consider was B. It was too hot to work outside because he came in the house all sweaty. But really, that's not what made him um, upset because if you go back, he said, who could be pulling such a nasty trick? So that's when he's really upset. So it is D. He thinks someone's playing a trick on him. Do you understand now why it can't be the crow? Because that comes at the very end and he's upset before he knows about the crow. Okay, how about number two? Want to read it? Which is the which of these best describe the setting of the mystery of when the mystery is solved? Okay, which of these best describes the setting when the mystery is solved? So if you go back, first of all, who solved the mystery? Who solved it? Ken. Yes, his nephew solved it. He's the uncle, so the boy is his nephew. And do you know the answer to that one? Which is D. At the garage, uh, did you say D? Yes. At the garage on the hottest day of the year. Let's see. It said. It was the hottest day of the year. Um, the next morning got even hotter. Uncle Joe stormed into the house shouting, now three of my tires are flat. So where was he? Where was Uncle Joe? In the house. In the house. When we went outside and pumped up the tires again, 
I decided to, jo Uncle Joe went back inside. I decided to solve this mystery myself. I hid behind the bush, keeping an eye on the truck. So where was he? Outside. Outside where? He was outside of Uncle Joe's house, okay? They had gone to the garage the day before. So, you know what you didn't do? You didn't go back into the store because it says the next morning got even hotter. Uncle Joe stormed into the house. And we read that already. It says, we went outside and pumped up some tires again. When Uncle Joe went back inside, I decided to solve the mystery myself. That's where the answer is. Okay, so you have to go back into the story because the answers are there for you. Does everyone understand the importance of going back into the story? Okay, number three. The crow lets the air out of the ties because it... Let's go back to that paragraph. It's the third from the last, so go to the story. It's the one that be begins with a crow was standing beside. Everyone look at that one again. Okay? Read it. Okay, what do you think the answer is now? A was cool. How many of you had A? Anyone have a different answer? It is A. Um, I could almost hear the crow sigh with pleasure as it flapped its wing in the cool breeze. So what did the crow know about if he let the air out of the tire? What happened? It was a cool There was a cool breeze, and it was, <laughs> it was the hottest day. Smart crow. Okay, let's turn the page. Read this quote from Uncle Joe after he discovers the three flat tires. Who would be pulling such a nasty trick? Which meaning of nasty is used in this sentence? Who knows that? C. Mean, yes. How many of you had C? I think we all know. Some of you might have thought it was disgusting. Did anyone pick B? But nasty is more being mean. So nasty, so mean. And number five, if the story had continued, what would most likely have happened? And they ask a lot of these questions now, most likely. Andrew, do you know? I got C. Kenneth would tell Uncle Joe how he has solved the mystery. If the story had continued, what would most likely have happened? Excellent. Ken would, most, would tell Uncle Joe how he had solved the mystery. How many of you had C? It's, if you see how it ended, it says, Uncle Joe, I shouted, running towards the house. You're never going to believe this. And it has dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot means it's going to continue. So he would obviously continue to tell Uncle Joe how the story ends. Okay, now I'm going to give you a few minutes to read the next story because some of you are just coming.